The Israeli government called on JDC to establish a new framework that would focus on the creation of extensive new services for the elderly. That new organization was ESHA. ESHA was the model for the kinds of services that an agency such as Joint, which is worldwide, can help the sovereign state of Israel. Eshel paved the way to the major relations between JDC Israel and the government of Israel, establishing the big partnerships. The government is responsible for the policy making, for the budget, and also for supervision for the services. Eshel is responsible for the developing of the services. Eshel, in its ingenuity, and its unique professional abilities came with the solutions for those people. We in JDC Israel learned those principles and implemented them in other partnerships that we established with the government of Israel. Forty years of the existence of Eshel not only made a difference, it made a big difference for the people of Israel who are in the elderly area. I want to thank Eshel and the JDC uh, for everything that they made for the elderly in uh, Israel. Without this uh, cooperation and uh, working together, we couldn't uh, get these achievements that uh, uh, we have now for the elderly. More than 500,000 elderly benefited from a large number of health promotion and prevention of illness programs. These include a variety of frameworks across Israel for physical activity, nutrition, hearing and vision screening tests, gardening, dental care, and many other programs. I like to play Patan because it gives me a very good opportunity to meet my friends, to be outdoors, and at my age, to have some good exercise. Two hundred twenty-five supportive communities with a comprehensive basket of services have been established across Israel. Some 45,000 elderly are presently members of these communities. I'm in the center for seven years for the elderly. I love both the painting and the ceramics. You will feel at home here. You come and it's a second home. They really treat you very well, and uh, I thank you for this place, <laughs> this wonderful centre. I've learned slowly, slowly how it is to be old. Eshel has built homes for the aged and helped the renovation of a hundred public and private homes. Following a devastating report on the number of elderly who live in poverty in Israel, Eshel was asked by the president to coordinate and run Beseva Tova to aid needy elderly in 30 localities, benefiting over 14,000 of the poorest elderly. The program provides a basic basket of services such as housing, medications, and dental care. Since its establishment 20 years ago, the Glickman Eschel Training Center has trained more than 30,000 professionals. We have created a nationwide impact on the practice of the caregiving for the elderly in Israel. The studies at the Eschel Training Center provided uh, me with a lot of opportunities and gains on a personal level and on a professional level. Yes, of course, madam. We, we answer in English as well. The Rayut Eshel Information Center is one of the best success stories of Rayut and Eshel as a partnership. The aim was to serve the aging population in Israel by providing a free community telephone service to those of us who are dealing also with our children, but also with our aging parents. Hello? This center has responded to more than 50,000 phone calls. In addition, 
through our website and by our email, people from overseas can also ask questions and we will gladly respond. JDC Eshel is recognized abroad for its innovative programs in the planning and developing services for the elderly. In France, for example, JDC helped develop daycare center for the elderly and also provided consultation services for other programs in Europe, to, for, especially in developing homes for the aged. Through its special exchange program with UJA Federation New York, Eshel helped replicate the supportive community and warm home models with JCH Bensonhurst in Brooklyn. It's a privilege for me to be a member of this program. This program helps us not only survive, but live an active life. With other Jewish federations, Eshel has developed professional exchanges and recently started to assist federations such as Boca Raton to develop the Witness Theater for Holocaust survivors. In times of emergency, Eshel's role and influence is crucial for the elderly in vulnerable areas. Thus, on the first day of CAS-led operation in Gaza, the government of Israel together with JDC initiated a special service, 120 strong. Community supporters were appointed to provide immediate responses to the needs of the elderly and the disabled in the conflict zone. Two years earlier, during the Second Lebanon War, Eshel assisted localities with hot meals distributed daily, respite holidays in hotels in Jerusalem, all for the elderly residents of the northern communities. We base our work on looking into the future. Every five years we develop a five-year plan. We made the estimations and we gather the information on what to expect in the future in terms of unmet needs. During its 40 years of existence, Eshel developed a network of programs and services which in fact improved the quality of life of thousands and tens of thousands of elderly people. Hallelujah.